All right then. So depressingly, it never looks that bad. It all kind of sits flat, doesn't it? I guess when you see it, when it's all strung out like that, yeah, it looks a bit worse. Oh, the prop. Crikey. Hmm, new barnacles growing on that. This is still works. Can't tell if that's still some of the grease in there, whether it's some kind of marine growth. Hi, boy. I'm not sure what the field of view looks like, but yeah, you can see how bowed down it sits. And I have to get in it in a second, but at least I'll be in the stern, I guess. But it doesn't fill me with much more confidence. Right, anyway, before I scrub it, first job is try and get that stone gland done. It's going to be tons of fun. So I think I'll need to open that up because we want it to stay open. What I think, there we go, I'm going to need to do is disconnect the coupler from the engine, push everything back to get enough room to undo the, the stone gland, but that should be more obvious when I make a start. I'm going to take this anode off because it turns out it's not actually doing anything because it's not on the prop shaft. Oh, that's what I forgot. A new anode. Damn it. Oh, man. I do need to measure that gap though to see whether the new one will fit or whether it needs turning down a bit. Um, because obviously that isn't connected to the prop shaft. It's just connected to the stern tube, which is yeah, not very helpful, really. So, yeah. Anyway, let's get a ladder out, see what happens. Probably need to work out how long I've got before uh, my car floats away. The low tides tend to freeze, so. And it's about, I don't know, half one. So we've got a little while. Okay, so the plan is, um, well, many plans, but the first one is pack the stone gland. Now, the stone gland has a nut um, on the end of it. And I don't think there is room to get that nut off. It's the green thing next to the silver thing without hitting the silver thing. So what that means is I'm gonna to have to undo the coupler, gearbox coupler, which is a silver thing, unbolt it from the gearbox. Hopefully I brought the right tools, get that out of the way. So slide the prop shaft back out of the back of the boat. Oh, it's gonna be such a pain. Um, yeah then unwind that pack it i'm also gonna i need to get rid of that stainless steel zip tie there that was my weird earthing idea which is a terrible idea it turns out so i need to get rid of that and i can shuffle everything back a bit as well that's the plan packing wise i actually really struggled to find packing um in guernsey uh, which confuses me like i don't know what everyone does uh but anyway what have i got so i've got this one looks like graphite and I think the whole thing with graphite is it doesn't need as much cooling which means you don't need the stone gland to be dripping as much I guess uh, some other packing guessing a more old school type looks very thin which is good I don't I think it has to be quite thin to work with this one I think and then some real old school looking stuff really old school looking stuff um, yeah slightly different size three mil so yeah undo that nut wrap some on put some slits down them tighten everything back up that's the plan and i need to crack on really because i've got to clean the outside of the boat before the tide comes back in uh what can we see yeah this is my exhaust silencer box don't ask me why it's not screwed down yet i'm an idiot basically I don't think I'm going to have a spanner big enough to get on this stern gland nut. Uh, I've lent out my big adjustable to my neighbour, so this could be an issue. Uh, I'm literally going to use a G clamp. I've got a small adjustable here, but there's no way it's going around that. I did think this would be an issue, but I'm kind of a bit time strapped today, so I don't really have a lot of choice. Right. I don't think this is going to work. I have a feeling I've done this nut up pretty tight knowing that it was unpacked. 
It's gonna be a real bummer if I can't get this undone. Oh, maybe all that grease, if nothing else, has kept it nice and loose. Okay, so, oh man, the mess it's made. And whilst I am a complete idiot for doing this, um, right, so it's going to crash into that coupler in a sec. I don't know how I'm going to slide the prop shaft back actually. I think I'm going to have to go outside the boat. Yeah. Oh, it is actually off. Oh, God, that's so frustrating. It's so close to almost working. Ugh. Bummer. Right, there's nothing for it. I've just got to crack on. Oh, I need to undo this to actually slide it out. A bit of mild paranoia about working on stone gland when the boat isn't completely out in the water, but what can you do? Well, I mean, I could take the boat completely out of the water, but that would cost a lot of money. I'm going to go out of the boat, I think. Pull the prop back, come back in. A few moments later. Okay, so the prop still isn't coming out, so I'm guessing it's an alignment issue. So I'm gonna undo uh, the coupler. Okay, 17. Hmm. Could be an issue here. Uh, I didn't bring my small 17. Yes, I did bring my small 17. Who says I'm unprepared? All right, let's see if this will go. <gasps> Why? Why is there some crummy access? Uh, don't tell me I need two 17s. Oh, I've only gone and bought two 17s. Incredible. Right. Good. Oh, crumbs. This isn't going to do it. Maybe, maybe not. Oh, God. Build slime. All right. Yeah, I don't think that will come far enough back to get off the stud, which means I need to... What does that mean? How the hell did I get this on? Oh, I must have put it on before the prop shot. Oh, fudge. There's not much room to work here, so things have to go back on in a very specific order. And I think I put this coupler on, then I put the... Uh, then I put the stone gland in place, then push the prop shaft through. So obviously step one would be pull the prop shaft out, but that's the bit I'm struggling with. I don't know why I'm struggling. Maybe there's a bit of build up on it and it's getting jammed somewhere. I mean, actually there's a lot of weed on the outside. I wonder if someone's got on it and uh, it's grabbing on the cutlass bearing maybe. And my cutlass bearing is held in by hopes and dreams, so it's unlikely that would stop anything. Okay. Good. Good, good, good. That slides. There is movement now. Hopefully that will that will help. I guess what I could have done actually is bolted those back up. Oh god, it would take ages, but uh, it might work. Bolt those back up, lever it out, unbolt, come back. Oh god, let's do it. I can't be bothered getting off this boat again. Maybe if I just do up two of them. Oh god, am I going to 
I'll have to do this to get it back in. What if I can't get it back in? Oh God, what if I can't get it back in? <laughs> yeah, that'd be bad. Very, very bad. Right. Now if I go, livery, livery doodah. Oh, I almost, oh, no, it doesn't almost come off. I didn't have a stupid zip tie there. Idiot. Incredibly dumb idea that was. At the time, I thought you had to earth the prop shaft to everything else. It turns out it's exactly what you, you don't want to be doing. Forming unnecessary circuits. I'm sure many people in the comments will say that's wrong. I really don't. I've discovered I just don't understand earthing boats. Right. Oh man, it's hot in this boat. I mean, it Guernsey hot, you know, not Caribbean hot. Not that kind of sailing channel. Get this out of the way. I bet it bloody doesn't come off, maybe. Does it ever come off? didn't expect it, yeah, it's a chuck a bit of water, not much. All right, has that made it easier? Oh, I don't think no. Yeah, cool. Right, let have a go. Definitely made it easier. So if I remember to do that back up, it's kind of stupid thing I'd do. That giant nut can come back. Oh, except it can't, because it's going to hit that. Oh, that's a real shame. Would that have given me enough play? I could take that off. Take that off, would that help? Still think I'm going to need to come quite a way up. Yeah, and I still think this is probably the only way to do it. No, it's not the only way to do it. Hold on, let me think about this. So, prop shaft comes out. Coupler comes off. Prop shaft comes back in. No, this all needs to come off anyway, because I need to get rid of that. Yeah, if I got rid of that, and I wound that right, right, right back. Then it's feasible that I would have room to get this off. Right, let's go try and get it out then. A few moments later. Oh, I'm an idiot. I could cut the cut the um, that rubber hose down a bit. Why have I never thought of that? Oh well. Oh god, I'm such an idiot. That's probably exactly what I'm supposed to do, right? Can't remember what I based the length of that on. It's probably just recommendations, but I mean, it obviously has flex in it. So if I could just build in, sorry, remove half an inch of flex. So remember the stone gland goes back to, well, presumably there, and the stone tube is there. So there's not an awful lot left to flex, but I don't know, every little bit helps, right? If I get the whole setup 10 mil further back, do that nut a bit further back. I'm a little bit closer to being able to do this job without this ridiculous situation. They're all loose. Ah! Ah! Idiota! What if I want to put in there? Oh, I'd give for an hour. Go outside, yank on the prop shaft. Okay. Uh, so desperately hard and sweaty. Right, prop shaft is back. So now I can try and remember whatever it was my stupid plan is. You probably noticed that coupling drop actually as it came out. Oh. Oh, man. 
Right. Let's get this out of it. I expect there to be a ton of grease inside that. Okay. <laughs> I know it's propped off, I thought it has a wedge of grease. Okay, so you can see through it. There's a start. Crikey. Right. So the thing we need to do to get rid of this. This is going to be fun. If I can. Ah, I can shimmy it. Thank God for that. Something appears to have gone less wrong. Okay, you can do one. Goodbye. Alright, I literally can't remember what I'm doing. Okay, so I think I'm gonna cut back the wherever it's gone, the thingy jobby. Uh, take the nut off. I wonder why this other nut is so tight. That's gonna be really irritating. Okay, big nut is off. Oh, oh my god. Okay, discovery of the century. It has got packing in it. There is packing in there. I never knew. It was so compacted. Let's see if we can fish it out. Oh man. Well, there it is. Holy buggery. Uh, classically, I think I've got to the source of the bilge leak. And of course, it's not what I thought it was. So I thought it was a stone gland. And to be fair, the stone gland, every time we motored anywhere, when we stopped, it'd be dripping. And I'm talking like 10 minutes of motoring. It'd be dripping like drip, drip, drip drip rather than one or once or twice a minute so i definitely think i needed doing but looking at the silence uh water lock box thingy that is leaking there's like a pinhole leak in it um at a reasonable rate actually so i think that's actually where the leak well it's where one of the leaks is coming from that explains quite a lot i think that's that leak down the bottom because i've got a leak that builds up under the engine a leak that builds up somewhere else yes making some progress now what I don't fully understand is why, if this was packed, where's the nut? Where's the nut? Oh. Right. If this was packed with stuffing, why did it... Ah, oh, it's because it's freaking nut, isn't it? That's all it was. Uh, so if I'd wound that down... I suppose I better repack that, but I'm not gonna lie. I don't really want to. Because <laughs> um, it just seems like something else I'll get wrong. But I have got this fancy pants stuff. It looks like it might be too thin though, actually. Oh no, no, it's about right. Yeah, I should really replace it with the graphite stuff, I guess, right? And watch as it leaks at an even more ridiculous rate. So I guess as you're crushing this against that, that little seat, I guess it fattens them up. Um, and obviously this nut lets you come further, further down, but you obviously have to back it back up to this to, to lock it so it doesn't come undone. Yeah, it kind of makes sense. It's kind of irritating. Oh, it's not irritating. Just uh, surprising. All right. Almost half tempted not to knack this stuff. Oh, it's got, I mean, when was it last change? Though? How often do you need to change this stuff? And does it just generally live forever? It looks a little bit shredded and saturated with grease. Is that the indicator to change it? I really know. That says to wrap it around the prop shaft. Actually, I'm half tempted to just 
stuff it straight into the nut. Feels like it'd be easier. Only because that prop shaft is such a pain in the ass. Right, either way, I think this needs cutting down. Oh yeah, that doesn't go very far in there at all. So actually, I could cut this down. I'm gonna do a quick bit of measuring. See how far I need, how much of this stand gland tube I need. That's just shy. That's 40 mil, just, just over actually. Okay. Um, This little bean, basically an inch, so 22mm, 23mm. Here you got 92. I want to leave a little bit of room for wiggle. Yeah, I reckon I'm just going to cut it slightly shorter. Cool. Uh, not the world's straightest cut, but it'll do. Be alright, I think. Got rid of the zip tie, so that should buy us of a 12 mil or so, I guess we see how that goes. So, right, I'm going to restuff this with four wraps of this magical stuff. Is it so far? It's all right. Obviously I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm spacing the gaps for the edges 90 degrees apart. Wow. 180 degrees for the first two. 90 degrees for rings two and three, and then the last one I'll do 180 degrees apart from ring the uh, ring before. Uh, the other three sealed up quite tightly, but that fourth one's got a bit more of a gap. I'm gonna leave it though, I think it'll be okay. Alright. I'm gonna go test fit that. Right, back down I go. Okay, it's our prop shaft. Slide it back in. I thought I can get a grip on it. Oh god, it is tight actually. It's probably it crashing into the cut thing there. Alright, back up we go. I haven't even started cleaning the boat yet. Might be a job for another day. So all of this water under here is joined to all of this water here. And that all comes from that side of the uh, this engine bed. And that is where that, that exhaust pipe would leak to. So I reckon all of that comes from that exhaust pipe. Yeah, it's dripping away. Out visible to me on camera, but yeah, I'll do my best. Yeah. Right, anyway, put our prop shaft back in. Here's our nut. And what I'm going to do for my next trick. Move this coupling out of the way, it's a pain in the ass. So I am going to go very gently. Okay. Oh, shabbity doodle. Well, oh, that really does, uh, maybe it needs a bigger, bigger packing. That moves a lot. Right, so we'll make and work it out. That's obviously the size of the prop shaft, give or take. Well, uh, yeah, so the stone gland is oops, slightly oversized. Understandably, a little nodule of grease poking down it. But this bit, Comically oversized, but I say comically, like it's only maybe a mil all round. So will it compress out to that? I guess so. Um, my other option searches for options. 
I have a feeling it just wasn't tight enough the whole time and actually the old packing would have probably be fine. I mean, the old packing looks more like that, but that's the same size as what I've just put in there. So I think I'm going to go with that, crush it down a bit more, see how we go. Maybe I should put a fifth bit in. Yeah, I think I might do that. Right, cool. Back we go. So, let's get rebuilding. Ah! Oh, there was still time. So, these go on. have a look okay so that's good so now I could in theory slide that slide that off although I guess good luck actually being able to fish out the packing yeah that's that's looking good Okay, so obviously GoPro battery died halfway through the job. Um, I'll show you what I've done. If I can find my phone. This was hard work, mainly because the boat was hot. So, as I was back together, exhaust is reconnected again. So, you may not have been able to tell how much space I was before, but I've now got room to actually get that nut off. So in theory, I could pack another bit of stir, um, oh, whatever it's called, packing in there because actually the nut is almost at the bottom, but I'm not sure quite how tight I should have been turning it. I might have tightened it too much, not really sure. Everything's back together. Um, yeah, just gonna pack it with a little bit of grease and then come down later tonight when it's back afloat. Okay, so let's see how I did. Um, I have just put this light on and I can see it's already dripping away. I have actually packed it full of grease, uh, some of which you can see is already splooged out. Not ideal. Um, yeah, it's dripping at a rate of about once every 30 seconds, so not ideal. I'm going to run the motor for a bit in gear and see how it behaves. Okay, so not ideal at all. Uh, it looks like it's dripping once every three seconds while it's running. So yeah, really not ideal. Um, I guess the lesson here is, wise, um, measure your packing thickness before repacking your stone gland. What an idiot I am. Uh, I did put the new packing up against the old packing and it appeared to be the same size but I guess the old packing wasn't doing the job in the first place so uh, that wasn't the best idea I've ever had. Yeah I'm going to try and repack it in the water next time using a more traditional technique of pulling the packing out. I guess one bonus to doing the work is I can now remove the stone gland nuts uh, with the boat in the water and I can pull the packing out and replace it without needing to pull the prop shaft out so I guess that's one benefit, but hey, another failure. God love it. Anyway, thanks for tuning in. I'll see you all next week.